Hey, what's going on? Pernell Bobby checking in with the Aries full moon. This one's personal. I am an Aries. I definitely have a stellium. I have three Aries in my chart and also got some of my Placius, Placidus, however you pronounce that. So I really want to really hit this home. If you have Aries in your chart, it's going to be a great indication as for where the areas in your life are going to shift, where they're going to change. So during this full moon, for starters, I need you to understand that whether you have Aries or not, this is going to be a more emotionally charged time. If you have Aries in your chart, you can expect that emotional charge to be even more uh, erratic in a sense, you know, very quick, but maybe not necessarily very easy to understand. Now, I want to give you the reasons why. So you have three different planets, more from a place of healing energies, more from a place of uh, an internal process that's going to show up and be interpreted by how your body feels. So if you are somebody that has a very good body awareness, okay, being aware of, you know, if your skin is dry or if you, um, if your intuition is saying, you know, stay still or if it's saying go forward, there's going to be a time where it's all internal. It's not going to be very apparent. The internal healing processes are going to be something, honestly, uh, you can expect friction. I want to say that off the rip. You can expect friction. You can expect some squares that are going to take and create some, some opposition in your life, especially if you resist. Right now is not the time to resist. I personally think it's actually the time to go inward, take some time to yourself, take some time with nature because... As strong as this is with the Aries new moon, you have three different planets right now in Capricorn. Now, what is that talking about? The three planets in Capricorn. I think you're looking at Pluto, Jupiter, and one more, Saturn. So the planet of challenge, challenge that helps you grow. The planet of expansion, also talking about growth. The planet of transformation, growth. So there's a massive amount of growth that's happening. But with that being said, you're going to get a lot of uh, excuse me, I'm a little foggy. You're going to get a lot of turmoil. Okay, you're going to get a lot of turmoil. You're going to get turmoil internally, though, with this is the two things those three planets in Capricorn, and then the three planets in Aries for a moon. Aries, you're looking at what? Chiron. You're looking at, um, you got the moon there, and you have one more planet that I'm not familiar with right now off the top of my head, excuse me. But I told you the three in Capricorn. So they're two conflicting energies because the Capricorn energy is, think of it like the dad, the disciplinarian, the one that is really caring about the public life, how they may look on that public stage, and also the growth, the climbing of the ladder, okay? When it comes to your career, the, your public status within your career, um, really a fixed sign, Capricorn is a fixed energy and they really, they hone in. No, I lied to you. It is a cardinal energy. Excuse me. So Virgo is the mutable. What's the other earth sign? Yeah, the fix is Taurus. So forgive me. You're looking at a cardinal energy. So cardinal energy is also with Aries energy. So here's where you get some of the friction. Because cardinal energy, which is the Capricorn right now in the Aries on the full moon, especially in Chiron, the the wounded healer, the one that wants to heal injuries internally, not necessarily out loud. These cardinal signs, they want to drive forward, okay? But those three planets in Capricorn that wants to drive forward in that cardinal fixed energy are also in retrograde. So the planets aren't necessarily moving backwards, but they have slowed down. So a planet like Saturn takes a long time for orbit. A planet like Pluto takes even longer for orbit. Jupiter, not as long, all three of those in Capricorn, but is going to be in retrograde. So that expansion, that discipline, and that transformation, they're all happening right now in your life. And you can indicate where Capricorn lies in your chart and what house that lies in so that you can start seeing, you know, where is that public work image, that public ladder of success, and you climbing that where it's being even more greatly affected. But also notice what's in that Saturn what's in that Jupiter, and what's in that Pluto. What zodiac sign you have there, as well as what house you have there. Because when you take a look at that within your chart, 
you're going to now start to see where some of the focal areas, especially in the houses. Because remember, the houses are really where you hit home. Beyond that, I will look at where the Aries lies in your chart and understand that the Capricorn energy is going to be more external stuff that like is going to be shown to the world in a way. Um, not really so much hiding. OK, and the energy that's kind of more hiding is where your Aries lie in your chart. OK, so if you have, let's say, Aries in your Venus and you're in the seventh house of partnership and marriages, you can expect that. Your exchange, uh, not just your love exchanges, but your exchanges within value, potentially even money, not a focal on money, but the value that you have within yourself and how that may impact your business relationships or your romantic relationships or just some sort of partnership. OK, in some fashion, that's where you kind of look. And right now it's happening at nine degrees. So if you can look at and you understand your natal chart, you can look at nine degrees and you get even more precise within that house, within that zodiac sign, within that planet. Woo! The Aries full moon. I'm really excited because if you're another Aries like me, you've been wanting to go. You've been wanting to really start knocking stuff home and you have the energy on most days, but your body may actually feel a little bit weak. Your body may feel more reserved. You may be more reserved. I know for Aries right now, a prime thing that's happening is our sex drives have been pretty much like, pew, just like non-existent. The month prior, you had a you had a, a high sex drive, so you could be like, "What's going on?" And I know now it's having a low sex drive. Part of why that's happening is to another way with these retrogrades and these healing planets in Aries, the full moon, they're slowing you down. Now, that's for Aries, but this is happening for everybody. Not the sex drive part. That's particularly how the Aries are being slowed down. Not everybody's going to be slowed down in a sense because we do have Mars right now. Oh, Mars. We do have Mars right now in Aries as well. So that is the forward go-getter pioneer type action. OK, um, do first ask questions later. So that is a lot of energies that we have happening, but there's a lot of internal healing. And all this internal healing right now is directed and being transformed within that 10th house. That 10th house is the house of career, the house of um, climbing that financial ladder. It's that Capricornial energy. OK, it's that think of a friend that you have that's a Capricorn and how they seem like they're obsessed with work. And it's almost like, yo, do you ever take a break? You should take a break. And they're like, what the fuck is a break? That's that Capricorn energy. And it's happening in a form of us expanding and us teaching other people our particular crafts, what we want to do for work. All right. So you're going to find a lot of new discoveries because Uranus right now is also going to have a scope coming in from the planet, the, not the planet, but the house of communication, the third house, which is in Scorpio. And Scorpio has, you could think of it, it has the glasses, you know, it's like the magnifying glasses. It's like, I see you and Scorpio wants to investigate and they want to know everything and they don't want to tell anybody about themselves, but they want to know everything about everyone else. Very intuitive water sign. Scorpio is in that energy right now. So in the, in, in the, in the communication and the logic and the transportation. So you, if you have some third house placements, like in Saturn, let's say like myself, I have third house in Aquarius. And what's happening with that is in the moment, um, you know, things like transportation, because the third house also goes transportation, have been halted. I tried to leave the country three, four different times. And it's like, nope, you're not done here. You have things to do. So when I stop fighting, then my life begin to flow more. All right. Begin to flow. So stop fighting right now. Right now is not the time to fight. Right now, my personal opinion is time to sit the f down and obsess. Assess, not obsess, assess. But you may be obsessing over money. How are you going to make it? How are you going to do it in alignment with where your spirit wants to be? Because you have a lot of that internal healing right now that's happening. That inner child right now, that one that wants to come out and play, Aries energy, they want to play, right? They want to explore. They want to see new things. They want to start new ventures. They may not necessarily want to finish something, but they definitely want to start something. Um, Right now is a lot more time about the self right now. We're in a space of you being yourself your authentic self 
because Aries is where the first house is, the first zodiac in the sign, and it's about the self. So don't think of it in a selfish way, and it doesn't also mean that you're not seeing selfish at all, but think about it as the self. Aries wants to discover themselves, all right? And they do that by exploring. They do that by pioneering new things. They do that by starting up new projects, okay? They are Cardinals energies. They want to go. They want to start. They want to act, all right? Mars is the the ruler of Aries and it's the plan of action. They want to make sh happen, but they're in retrograde. And though they want to make stuff happen, what's happening first, especially with this full moon, you're gonna get a nice bright light. The moon is the brightest during a full moon. You're gonna get a nice bright light that shines down on all your internal processes, all the things that have never healed within you, with Chiron being the wounded healer in Aries as well. All those things that didn't heal, all the things about yourself, first, first house, Aries, is going to really have a bright, bright light. And this is a great time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, this is one of the best times to be alive. Three energies and, and the planets of Aries, three energies and the planets of uh, Capricorn. Those are those two main things. Where, what is your identity within your public work life? What's your identity? What is it now? versus what's dying, okay? And that Scorpio lens is gonna show you very clearly within the next, from October 1st to the first four days, it's gonna be another shift, up until like the 13th of October, there'll be another shift. What's happening in your life? Take the scopes, take the binoculars, use your glasses, the Scorpio glasses, and really dissect. And it's gonna come to you very clearly. You may be feeling a lot of frustration, a lot of, I wanna go forward, but I feel like I can't. That's some of the retrograde energy and recognize that it's happening for you. It is divine timing, okay? This is not for you to necessarily intervene, it's rather for you to sit in the seat of the observer. I highly recommend you breathe. And know that when you breathe, you shouldn't even really hear your breath. The person across from you shouldn't hear your breath. It should be so effortless with a nice smile that you can take yourself and be gentle. And now that you took that breath, you can remove the emotions. And you can observe. And now you get to be kind with what you see because right now we're in a healing process. Collectively, a collective healing. All right. Just because I'm an Aries doesn't mean that you're not being affected as well because you guarantee you are. This is a very powerful energy. It's the energy of self. So if you have been struggling with your identity, you've been struggling with yourself, you've been struggling with, you know, what are you going to do within your work life? This is the time to observe because you're going to get some angelic downloads. All right? You're going to get some cosmic downloads and it's going to come in divine timing. It's not your job to try to shift what happens when it happens. That's only going to cause more trouble. And right now with all the retrogrades happening, you don't want to get smacked like that. Okay, because you're already paying karmic debt. This is the Aries full moon. This is a quick synopsis of what's happening from October 1st going on. And that energy is going to be like that for a lot of 2020. I think until Sagittarius season, it's not going to really change a lot. You're going to go through a long version of healing. Okay, um, And this is everybody. It's not just Aries. But if you can look within 9 degrees if you understand this language. Or if you want some help, you can get a natal reading from me, myself. I can get your information and we can start, You, I can work with you and I can show you. And I've been doing this to a lot of people and I, I quite frankly have become obsessed. So this is one of the shifts that's happening with me internally. Another internal shift that's been happening with me is my communication and writing. And it's in my, my Saturn, which is in my uh, Aquarius, House of Aquarius. So learning for me to be more of my individual self. How ironic is that? Because Aquarius is all about being unique, unconventional, be the planet of surprise. They love surprises. They love surprising other people, especially with their intellect. And so for me, with it being my third house, just to give you some examples, it's in the house of communication and logic. So my challenge in life, which is the Saturn, the plane of challenge, my challenge in life is to be more of an Aquarius when it comes to how I communicate. I also have third house within my Capricorn. So I can look at that Capricorn placement. I realize like this is where a lot of my frustration has been coming within communication, within leadership. My ability to lead not just myself, but the team that's working on board with me. 
These are some of my personal challenges. So I can give you some insight, but notice, I had to know the, 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 the planet. Then I had to look at the zodiac placement. Then I had to look at the house that it's in. Then I had to look at where the, the new moon is at, which is nine degrees, and look at that chart for nine degrees and say, okay, this is what's happening. There's levels to this. If you don't understand this and you, you want to understand more because you feel instinctually that it resonates with you, get a reading from me. Check the link down in my bio. You can schedule. You can book. All right. I get that notification automatically. This is the Aries New Moon. I thank you for liking, subscribing this. I actually have an interview coming up right now, which is it all starting to kind of play out. I feel it in my body right now. This is the time to interpret within your body. The, the Aries is it gets its energy through the body it needs physical action it needs to not roar like a leo but explore you know like an aries it needs to explore itself explore the body explore itself explore the body you get the theme explore yourself explore your body one of the best ways to do that is to go for a hike find nature no other body else around and know that even though you're in a time of self we also have a Libra season. The sun is in Libra right now. So we also have that energy of partnerships are going to come. But they're going to come by surprise. And I think around October 13th or so, that Scorpio lens you have is going to help you see the surprise coming in. It's going to help you see that, you know, it's time for you to be with you unapologetically to enjoy yourself. I have some of this here. What's your low expression? What's your God mode? High expression, God mode. Um... And it's going to show you who you are. It's going to show you what you miss about yourself. It's going to show you parts of yourself that hasn't been loved. This is all about the Aries. And recognize the Aries energy is one of the, the, if not the most, and I could be biased, emotionally courageous people. Okay, There are other signs that are more emotional than Aries. But Aries are highly emotional creatures. They aren't viewed that way because they're leaders and they can, they can take a hit on the jaw and they can be crying inside. And they may not even come out, but they have those emotions. They're strong, they're passionate, they're fiery, and they do help them move forward. And they have courage, okay? So right now during the season, be courageous in your dive deeper into yourself. Be courageous in what you learn about yourself, the angelic downloads that are coming in. Be courageous in this process because you will be rewarded if you take that time to introspect, all right? This isn't necessarily the time... You're going to have a lot of new projects coming in. You're going to have a lot of money coming in, a lot of abundance coming in. You're going to have a lot of love coming in. Um, but depending on who you are, like I know for Aries specifically, it's time for you to heal within yourself and the kind of work that you do, the way you provide impact and value to other people's lives, okay? Because this is a time that we're learning how to balance. We are still in Libra season. We're learning how to balance ourself and our energies and listen to the intuition that your body has, that body awareness. This is huge right now. This is Pernell Bobby giving you my personal update. I didn't look at anybody's uh, other videos about what's happening with the new moon and the Aries. I just take this stuff for myself, my own studies. So know that when you are interpreting that, like this is Pernell Bobby's personal opinion. This is my opinion about my interpretation. But if it resonates with you, I am pretty accurate and pretty sure of myself about this information. And it comes from really the energetic downloads. This is an impromptu video that said, yo, get it out. I need to get it out of my system. And now I got an interview coming. So I do got to go because I don't know what time it is. But I love you. Uh, the interview is actually with Travel With Guy. You can check out his YouTube channel. He, uh, he, he also primarily Instagram is his main thing. But we're doing a podcast episode. So he's in some of the building phases of different things. But travel with guy, I love you. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, ah, I already lost my voice. I need some tea. Somebody give me some tea. And subscribe to my channel in the meanwhile. Love. Motherfucker.